I'm Dominic Stevens. New Zealand has been an economy of two halves for some time, with the lower portion of, the, of each island really fizzing away, due in part to agriculture and tourism, but also due in part to rising population growth and house prices. Meanwhile, the northern portion of each island has been slower, again partly due to slower housing markets. Our latest regional roundup, which we published this week, suggests that convergence is emerging. Auckland, Northland, the top of the south, and especially Waikato are all doing quite a bit better off fairly low bases. Meanwhile, the really booming regions like Gisborne, Hawke's Bay, Otago and Southland are showing signs of peaking, and particularly construction in those areas is starting to wane just a bit. Now over 2019, we are expecting the nationwide economy to pick up a bit due to government spending and lower petrol prices. That will affect all regions, but Auckland and Wellington will probably particularly stand out. Wellington due to its exposure to government, and Auckland because there are signs of a further lift higher in the construction industry there. Now the other regional factor to watch out for here is that things are getting quite dry in many parts of New Zealand. That will affect rural agricultural production and could trickle through to the wider economy. The offset though is that dry weather in New Zealand worries uh, global dairy markets and has led to a lift in those auction prices. On the back of that we've lifted our Fonterra Farmgate milk price forecast to $6.40 for the current season and $7 for next season. Talk to you next week.